Hi everybody, Patty Ann here. Hey, someone has asked how do I import or use fonts from dafont.com on my phone. So I'm going to show you how I do that. To get started, the first thing I did was I came to the App Store, which on my screen is in the upper left-hand corner. So it's a big A and this is App Store. And then I typed in in the search place up here, I font like iPhone, but I, whoops, font, and searched. So I came to a couple, and the, the one that I really like is actually this one at the top, and I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to say open. And now it is free unless you want to get rid of the advertisements, and then it's $1.99. So what I'm going to do is come to the lower right-hand corner. Notice there's an ad there. I don't want to hit that. But right above the ad, it says Get Fonts. I'm going to click on Get Fonts. And then this opens up where there are three different places where I can get free to use fonts. I'm going to use the font. <clears throat> and I'm going to search for one that is um, curly. So it should highlight. There we go. Curly. And there's some cute ones in here. But let's see. Curly Shirley. The names are kind of crazy. Let's see. Wow. How about that could be a cute one to use for text maybe on a shirt because it's nice and thick for vinyl. So it's called Simple Sicky. Simple, I don't know. Simple Sicky. <laughs> so I'm going to download it. And I'm going to import it to iFont, just like I said before. I import it. So now it shows that there are four files imported down here. So let's look and see what we have. Somehow I did this twice. It's the simplicity or whatever. I'm going to click on one of them, and I'm going to delete it from iFont. And I've got this one twice. I'm going to click on one and delete one from my font. All right, so let's just do this one. Okay, this one, the first one up where it says install. I'm gonna click on the word install, and it's gonna come up with a tutorial to tell me how to install these. It's gonna show everything that I'll see on my phone one by one. And so I can scroll through these and look to see what I have to do. And I've done this many times, so I know what I need to do. So I'm not looking very closely. And I can also toggle this little thing here on and off in case I don't want it to show me that little tutorial every time. But I'll just leave it on for now. Then I'll come down to the very bottom and say install font. Allow. I remember I have to do this. Oh, simplicity. I don't know. Install. I've got to put in my numbers, and so it'll say install again, install again, and done. And now it's ready. So what I can do now is I can come to Cricut Design Space and come down to text. Now, it's not a Cricut font because this is something I installed onto this system, my system. So it's a system font. And I'm going to search for it. There it is. I just start typing it and it shows up. And then I'll type in my name just because I always like to sample how that'll turn out. Okay, and oopsie. All right, so that's what it looks like. And of course, just like always, I can adjust the letter sizing. Let's see if I go to edit. The letter spacing, I should say. And if I'm going to bring them closer together, I hit the minus key. And that's it. That's all you have to do to bring in a font from the font onto your phone. So thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I love the questions y'all are giving me. Keep them coming. Thanks, you guys. Bye.